Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have a sort of theatre vlog for you. So tonight I am going to the Lowry to see Carrie Hope Fletcher's solo tour and open book. Um, Lawrence is coming with me, my husband, however we're not sat together because I bought tickets and he wasn't sure if he would soon be able to come. And then he was able to come but there was no tickets left to, next to mine so he sat a few rows back. But we are going together. It starts at half seven, there's a match on today. Uh, so it's going to be crazy on the trams at the time we need to leave so we'll see what it's like getting there hopefully we'll get there on time can't go any earlier because we've got the kids and we need my parents to pick the kids up they're picking the kids up at quarter to six so we're, hopefully we can leave at six and hopefully it won't take us too long to get there hopefully we'll get there for seven i'm just not sure what the trams are going to be like with the match because it finishes literally as we need to leave so it's going to be mad on the trams um, but hopefully it'll be okay. So yeah, I'm really excited for the tour. I'll show you um, any merch. She's definitely got some merch. Um, I'll show you what the stage looks like. Can't record any of the singing in it. Uh, it's like a theatre show. But I think I should be able to film her the bow uh, at the end. And then I'll tell you all about it once I get home. So yeah, we're both really excited. It should be a really good night. And I'll get back to you now once we are on our way to the theatre. So it's now ten past six. Just gone ten past six. Honestly, just getting our tram tickets. We've got one minute till the tram. We only need zone two. So we're just getting single tickets. So Dad is going to pick us up on the way home. And our tram is in four minutes so we're actually going to get there probably by seven we should definitely get there by seven so not too bad we managed to miss all the match traffic Just arrived at the Lowry now, just got off the tram just here, and then the Lowry is just over here. So, just gonna walk over. We're gonna walk along the water today since we don't have a pram. Oh, wait, there's a big step here. I can't get down this step. There's a big step. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that. I'll just point it. <laughs> I'm an old lady, that's a lot. That really, that's really hurt my, right, let's go down the steps, because that's really hurt my ankle. I'm really jumping down these massive steps. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to walk over to the face and have a look. But everything's just fake, now you're becoming the person you want to say. We're just outside the fence now. There he is. I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna go and look at thanks. We're gonna go look at the merch and then probably head in later. Oh yeah. So yeah, back to you later.
the queue for the merch is very big. I left Lawrence in the queue while I went to the toilet. He does not look impressed. Here he is. So, just in the queue for the merch. We're not too far away now. I think we're just getting a magnet, aren't we? A magnet and a program. The mug's quite nice, but I'm not going to push me luck. We don't need any more fierce mugs. I'm doing drinks here. And a magnet, I think the magnet was three pounds. Do you know how much the program was? Twelve pounds. Twelve. Oh, expensive. I've already calculated it. Yeah, <laughs> Lawrence yeah, has yeah, already yeah. calculated it all. I do. So yeah, so we're in door H today. So she's just in here. So we're gonna head in and I'll show you where we're sat. We're sat in different different rows. Okay, so here is my ticket. So I'm on row N, seat three. So we're gonna head in now through door H. Lawrence is on row S or something, so. Mine's in, yours is S. Yeah, I didn't even know I had yours on my phone. Okay, so just heading into the theatre now, find our seat. So I'm on row N, Lawrence is on row S. Row. You're there. Lawrence is there. And I'm on row end. Yes, thank you. Okay, so just taking some pictures of the stage and stuff. So I'm going to head to my seat now. So I'm in Monroe N. Sorry. Yeah, I'm row N, seat three. Okay. So I'm in my seat now. This is row N, seat three. This is my view. So it's quite a good view, actually. I was just listening to it earlier in the day, Irish folk music. So. You were, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the show's so good. We oh, got yeah. to hear Carrie sing Say No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I loved it. I bet uh, you love the Lame oh, yeah. song. I love Lame Is and love to Say No. Yeah. But Lame Is probably but my favourite. Really good. It's probably one of the best, like, concerts. I love Stars, so I'm glad she's saying that bit of Stars. I oh, love yeah. that song. It's so 
Jeff Ferris special song. Yeah, it's been really good. We've really enjoyed it. Can't wait for the second half. Jim, um, this guy decide if I move. Yeah, stay there's in my seat. two empty seats in front of me. I've got three empty seats beside me. I love you. Yeah. So we don't know whether to, we don't know where to move. So we're together. Don't know. So if I were to sit, I could go and sit. You can sit beside you. me if you want. Mm. If you think you can't be before the back. I don't know now. A bit more central. So we're gonna head back in now. Lauren said there's actually seats next to him that are empty. Three. So I could go and sit next to him. So we're actually sat together. Or I stay in my seat, which is closer to the stage. So oh, um, we could take a picture of ourselves in front of the stage. Okay, so I've moved seats to sit with Lauren. So there's a seat three next to him. So I'm much further back than my seat. That much only. One, two, it three, is. four, five. N S N N O T Q R. Six rows back than what I was sat in. I'm not here all the place. You're not here to the actually look at the place. And it'd be nice to sit next to Lauren since we never actually get to go out together, do we? No. Um, at least we're stuck together now. I know, I lose my left space. <laughs> yeah, he had some extra space and now it's nice on me. So yeah, it should be starting again soon and it's really I'm good. Gonna these guys soon. He's going to read about Trinity. He's a new fan, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> The show has finished now. It was so good. We really enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah. I made a mistake. I've picked up someone else's program. <laughs> I don't know how I managed it. I did take it back to them and say, "Oh, I think I picked up someone's program." Um, if Colin comes for it, he gives it to me. He said, "Oh, if they come for it, we'll just give them another one. Take it. It's okay." So I don't know how I managed that. I think it was on my seat. What's, well, the seat beside you. Yeah, because there's no one sat next to me. No. There's no one sat next to you. So I don't know how it's come from then. <laughs> we go. <laughs> Well, she said if someone comes and says they've lost it, they'll just give them another one, she said. Really? That's what she said. So, here we go. Right. So, we're going we're gonna to now walk up there and, what? 9 to 4, if you ever come here, it's closed. 9 to 4. Right. Six weeks for bridge painting walks. Mm -hmm. So, my dad is going to pick us up, so we're going to walk across the bridge. My dad's going to pick us up. Hi, so I'm now back from the show, so I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about it. So obviously we went to go and see Carrie Hope Fletcher and Open Book Tour at the Lowry. It started at half seven. Um, she had merch there, so she had hoodies, um, mug, magnet, uh, program, and I think there might have been a few other things. I think there was a pin badge, um, I did film it so hopefully you've seen it um, so yeah there's a few bits of merch we just picked up a magnet we just picked up the magnet which was three pounds and then we also picked up the program and this was 12 pounds but there's quite a bit in here um, it's, it's quite a bit to read it is a it is a nice program so I didn't mind paying that for a nice one so I'll show you um, that in a, in a minute um, just thought I'd talk a bit about the show first. Um, so first of all, we had like a warm-up act with Trinity. Um, they are like, they like sing 
Irish songs. Um, I think one said they were Canadian Irish, one's American Irish, and one's from Dublin. Um, so they sang a couple of Irish songs. They sang Danny Boy, which is like a very well known song. Uh, and then they sang a couple of other songs. They sang Anthem from Chess. Um, they sang they sang a song from The Greatest Showman. I think it was From Now On, that one. I think it was that one. And then they also sang Go The Distance from Hercules. I think there's a few others in there as well, but those were what they sang. And they were really good. We really enjoyed the Trinity. Lawrence is a new fan because obviously they're Irish and Lawrence is Irish. So he loved the fact that they were singing Irish songs. So he was a fan. So in the interval, they actually stand near the merch stand and you can meet them. Uh, they let you have your photo taken. They'll sign your program for you because they signed our program. If you buy their CD, they'll sign the CD. Um, Lawrence was tempted to get the CD, but we don't have a CD player. Um, so he'll have to see if they're on iTunes. But yeah, they were really good. Great warm up act. So they were on a safe for probably about half an hour till about eight o'clock. And then at eight o'clock, Carrie came on. And the way she's done the show is really good and really clever, I think. So she doesn't like being herself on stage. So she sort of made it like like its own little musical. Um, so what it is, is she is in her head and we're helping her create her show. So we're supposed to be inside her head. So the stage is set up to look like her living room. She's got books, she's got a sofa, um, she's got a desk. Um, so I just thought it was really cleverly done. And then she tells stories from her life and then the songs to like represent those stories. And to decide what stories you get before the show, um, there is a QR code that you can scan and then there's some questions that you answer and depending on what you answered for these questions depends what song and what stories you get for the show so if you go to a couple of different shows you'll you probably get different songs and different stories because not everyone's going to pick the same things um so yeah if you're going to a couple of shows at least it's going to be different and i just thought it was a really clever and well thought out um show she's definitely thought a lot about it and how to do it and to make sure that as, as people see something different if they're going to multiple shows and it was really good we really enjoyed it she had some really good stories the songs that she sang were excellent and she sang them beautifully um i can tell you a couple of songs that she did so she did a song from treason i can't remember what it's called um but it was a beautiful song it was really nice um, she did say sing um, I Say No from Heathers, which is one of my favourite songs from Heathers. I absolutely loved it. I was so glad she sang that. Um, she sang a song from Les Mis and she even sung a McFly song. So, Oh, and she sang a My Chemical Romance song as well. So yeah, some interesting song choices. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Lawrence really enjoyed it as well. He loved the My Chemical Romance song. Uh, but yeah, it was such a good show. Like I said, something that I haven't seen anything like that before. Uh, I just think she's fought it out really well and it's been um, produced really well. The set was really well done, beautifully done. The lighting was excellent, the way they did the lighting. Everything was perfect. Um, it's definitely worth the money. It was a great show. I'd love to go again, actually, to another show. It's on in Liverpool, but I don't think there's many tickets left. Plus, it's in the evening, it's really hard to get back in the evening. If it's a matinee show, we would definitely have gone. Uh, but we had a great time. Definitely recommend it. If you can get to a show, go. Because we weren't going to go because we thought tickets were quite expensive for us. But we did get some vouchers, so we used our vouchers to go. And I'm so glad we did because we had a great time. We really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, I will now show you the programme. We can go through this. Okay, so this is a program. I'm saying program, but it's actually a souvenir brochure because it's got loads of pictures and stuff in it. So this is the front cover. It just says Carrie Hope Fletcher and Open Book UK Concert Tour 2023. And it says souvenir brochure at the bottom. And then inside, um, you've got lots of pictures of Carrie from when she was younger, um, from when some of the shows that she's been in. 
picture of her and her husband and her friends and it says here this show couldn't have been created without some incredible people putting up with me for the last year um, so I think it's just talking about the people that have helped her this year to put the show together and stuff this was the QR code to scan and these are the questions that you have to answer but there's a bit of information about Carrie Hope Fletcher so it's got um, her theatre uh, credits shows that she's been in concerts she's done music she's done presenting books awards and social media so most people will probably know what she's been in theatre wise if they follow her so it's got her recent things so Carrie Boss in Sleeping Beauty she was in the Caucasian Chalk Circle Cinderella uh, Les Mis as Fontaine Veronica in Heathers um, if we go back a bit further she played Jane Banks in Mary Poppins when she was younger um, Jemima in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Young Eponine in Les Mis and then this was the band Trinity so this just tells you a bit about Trinity and who they are so you've got Emma O'Hallan he was born in New York to Irish parents Ronan Scullard um, he's from Dublin and then Connor Murphy and apparently his grandmother was a famous Irish operatic soprano so there we go it's just a bit of information about them and then that's Trinity there we got some information about the director and the music director and then you've got the guitarist the violin the viola viola and the cello so those are those are all the musicians you've got an advert for musical theatre raves some information about Lambert Jackson uh, about Cuff and Taylor I think those are the people that produce the concert and then you've got the tour dates here so she's still got Birmingham, Sheffield, Liverpool, Nottingham, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Leicester, Milton Keynes South End, Bath and Glasgow to go. So she's still got a few to go. Aha, it shows you all the merchandise here. So this is all the merchandise you can get. So there's the pin badge, that's the magnet, um, tote bag, t-shirt, mug, and then there's two types of hoodies. There's a black and a green one. I like the green one <clears throat> and it just says the team You've got the tour manager, production manager, lighting designer like I said the lighting for the show was really good I was really impressed with the lighting and so the lighting designer actually did a great job for this show I thought but the lighting was excellent picture of Carrie uh, one of Carrie's books. Uh, some adverts for other Cuff and Taylor productions. I've seen Hey Dougie. I've seen that one. That was very good. Uh, I don't think I've seen any of the other shows. Another nice picture of Carrie. And this it says, read after you've watched the show. A little note from Carrie. And there we go, that is the programme. So yeah, like I said, we thoroughly enjoyed the show. Definitely recommend it. If you're thinking about going and you're not sure, go. Because it was so good. Like I said, me and Lawrence would go again if we could. If we could go to Liverpool, we would go to there. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just too late getting back for the kids if we go in the evening. But yeah, it was an absolute amazing show. 
we're so so glad we went so i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog um if you do enjoy theater vlogs and reviews then please do subscribe to my channel because i do lots of theater view reviews and vlogs on this channel the next one coming up will be dirty dancing which i'm going to uh this week um and then the week after i'm going to see the commitments so there'll be reviews uh vlog reviews coming up for those very soon so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell you'll be notified as soon as those go up also if you like to read full reviews i do have a blog where i write up all my reviews for shows uh that is www.allabouttheatreuk.com um that'll be linked down below uh, as well as my other social media i've got instagram tiktok um facebook twitter uh, so i'll link all that down below in case you're interested in seeing any of that so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little vlog if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye